What's up guys, Admiral Stiles here. So this is a, a viewer request, they wanted to see how many Proxima class dreadnoughts it takes to take out the Enterprise G. So here we are, we're gonna start off with two and then I'll increase the number of Proxima's exponentially until I eventually explode. Alright, so this first battle I imagine is gonna be really fast. Yeah, a spread of quantum torpedoes destroys their shields, and then I imagine the second one will destroy the ship, but we'll see. Alright, looks like the phasers finished it off before the torpedoes got there. I really like the way the torpedoes look on the Proxima. Or in this case, the USS Ticonderoga. Okay, round one finish. Let's do five versus one. We got him. Red alert, shields up. I hope we get to see a dreadnought of sorts in Star Trek Strange New Worlds. That would be pretty cool. And it would also be really cool if we got to see K7 Station or a Klingon D7, like some proper Klingon ships. I would love it if they've retconned the, uh, you know, the classic Klingon ships that we're used to, and just forget about the the crap we saw in Discovery seasons one and two. All right, so far we have only destroyed. Okay, one is down. Huh? With five targeted, it seems like the accuracy is not as good as just having two targeted. I might have to use manual targeting to win some of these uh, larger fights in the next couple of rounds. Wow, those torpedoes are like missiles because they're so slow, but extremely accurate. Ah, uh, look at that hole breach in the center of the spine. Okay, round two is done. Next battle will be eight versus one. That's it. Main power is at fifty percent. Red alert, shields up. The formation that the enemy spawned in is quite unusual. Wow, those phasers completely missed. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Yeah, those torpedoes uh, are not too accurate. I think in the future, when I do videos like this where I have many targets, I think I'll try not using multi targeting too early on. Maybe kill a couple of ships and then do multi-targeting. Wow, I just love the way those phasers just cause explosions, explosive decompression across enemy hulls. Our ventral shields are draining, sir. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Wow, look at that. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Beautiful. Main power is at fifty percent. <laughs> That's funny. Main power is at fifty percent, and there's fifty percent of the enemy left. Nice, one to go. The forward shield is draining. Alright, let's see how we do against 12 Proxima class dreadnoughts. That's it, 
That's it. We got him. Red alert, shields up. I wish the enemy spawned in formation, like proper formation. Like maybe a diamond, maybe an echelon formation. Maybe a chevron. Okay, wall of torpedoes inbound. That looks nice. That looks like... I don't know. Write in the comments what that looks like. Like wall of... Uh, electrons flying towards you. Alright, I think this is going to be the round where we get destroyed. I think 12 is too much. Oof, I saw some glitches on the hull of the Enterprise G. Ah, there goes another one. I'll, I'll call that Spatial Anomalies. Let, let's call it that. Perhaps all of this torpedo explosions is causing a Terran subspace. Okay, we've damaged more than half the fleet, but we've taken so much damage that I don't see us winning. Especially with weapon accuracy being what it is. Alright, I'm trying to see if I can take those hits on dorsal. Oh, I couldn't turn fast enough. Alright, there's another wall of torpedoes heading towards us. I think this is it. Yep, Enterprise G down. Not bad. We made it to 12 versus 1, so I think 10 versus 1 is the limit. Alright, guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any other battle requests, drop it in the comment section. If I have to model, I'll do the video for you. But yeah, I'm Admiral Stas. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Oh yeah, I always forget to say this, but don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. Admiral Styles out.